Welcome back, Turners. Well, today marks the day that uh, I used this Harbor Freight lathe for the last time. Uh, so, um, it's been a good lathe, and uh, I've got another video that will follow this one. Just talking about some of my thoughts on the Harbor Freight lathe and, you know, how it served me. Not a review, you know, just kind of a, you know, my thoughts on it. So, um, but I thought it would be good for this last turning on the lathe to do something in olive. I've got a little chunk of olive right here that I think really wants to be a rice bowl if I can make that happen. It's going to be a small rice bowl. Um, I did another rice bowl in olive um, a few videos back. Uh, it was larger. but This one feels a little more size appropriate than the other one, which uh, ended up actually being more of a candy dish than a rice bowl. So, so what's the future of my wood turning um, now that this lathe is leaving the shop? Well, certainly I'm going to keep wood turning. That's one of the things that I really enjoy. So, and you know, of course I'll keep making videos uh, as much as possible. And um, uh, what this does mean, however, is that there will be a new lathe coming into the shop. Um, uh, I have been looking to expand the capabilities um, of the turnings that I'd like to do. Again, I've mentioned in the past that you really have to understand and, and work within the capacities and limitations of this lathe if you expect to, you know, get good turnings out of it. Um, and I think, you know, I think we've shown that successfully, that it, it's, a, it's capable within its, you know, margin of capability. So, you know, I've really taken what I think is primarily a spindle turning lathe and used it for other stuff uh, with some success. So, um, uh, the lathe, however, is uh, uh, going to be donated to uh, Robert and Liz Cruz. Uh, they're uh, from our church. They're, they've set up a ministry in Globe, Arizona. Um, the ministry is uh, going to teach woodworking and metalworking to Apache peoples out there um, uh, to, to help you know, build a, a skill set for them. Um, and uh, so I'm only too happy to uh, be able to, you know, contribute toward that setup. They needed a wood lathe, and uh, I think this is going to fit the bill nicely for them, um, especially being, you know, that entry-level type lathe, uh, especially since I think they're going to do, like, some table-like turnings and things like that on it, which I think it is, you know, primarily suited for. So, uh, also, the Lord has given me a tremendous opportunity. Um, I am extremely blessed and I'm going to have an opportunity to pick up a lathe with larger capacity. So uh, in the not too distant future you're going to see uh, that lathe come into the shop. You know, I'll share that with you when it arrives. Um, I don't do unboxings. I will show you <laughs> the lathe when it gets here. So, And I'll tell you what I like about it and why I bought the one um, that I did. So, so there will be a video that follows this one that just takes you through you know, my thoughts on the lathe. Um, uh, this this Harbor Freight lathe that you know you've seen over the last couple of years, and and uh, I will. Um, it's not a review. I'll just share you know you know kind of what I think are the things I liked about the lathe and, and some things I did to it to um, kind of enhance its usability for what I do. So anyway, with no further ado, let's uh, go ahead and uh, take this piece of olive again. Uh, see if we can make a little rice ball out of it. All right. Turners, and instead of starting with a mortise or tenon um, or recess and spigot, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use a face plate. Uh, this is the smallest face plate I, I own. So I'm going to go ahead. This is going to be the top of the bowl. So this will be the edge when I'm done. This part under here is going to be the bottom, which we're going to just shape up. And I'm actually going to put a recess in the bottom so I can grip it with my uh, six jaw chuck and um, in order to do that though this is the fairly this is like 90 degrees to the side so I'm gonna get the best use out of this this has got a bit of a an odd angle to it so again you know just use whatever center fi center finder you guys have I like to use this uh, just regular off-the-shelf center finder you, know, you want to get kind of a good idea of where the center is and um, so that's that's what I've got right there so I'm going to take and center this up and mount it with wood screws remember to use wood screws and not drywall screws which are brittle 
So I'm going to go ahead and get that attached and then we'll go ahead and get it on the lathe. All right, turners, you can see I got that rounded on there. I got good clearance on my tool rest. Um, uh, if you're wondering, I only used four screws on the face plate. You know, some folks like might like to use all eight screws. For something this small and light, it's not really that necessary. The screws are long enough to give it plenty of purchase, so this is not going to go anywhere. But um, I'm going to start with my 5 8 uh, bowl gouge and just start some shaping here. I'm going to see how effective my dust collection is today, so that's why I get the hood right here. So let's go ahead and get started. And as always, it should go without saying, face mask, face shield, whatever you want to call it. Use it. Be safe. Alright turners, I've got that bottom turned down uh, to where that little uh, cut mark is no longer there. So I'm flattening this out now and I'm going to start to shape the outside of the bowl here, the curve here. Um, and then i got to create that recess still for the chuck. All right, turners, I'm going to put a little something decorative down here using the little uh, detail tool. Um, it says uh, rotates and we'll cut a little pattern in here. Now I'm going to use my little diamond point tool just to create a little uh, couple accent lines around that little pattern. Okay, turners, I think you can see the general shape that I'm going for with the rice bowl. I'm going to have a nice smooth curve. I'm probably going to smooth this out a little bit more. There's my foot. I'm going to have to be careful when I put this on the chuck. I don't know if you can see this. The foot um, wall is not extremely thick, so I can't use too much pressure there. Or I will lose that and I'll have to redo the bottom. So, just something to be mindful of. Um, so uh, I'm going to finish shaping this, sand it, and um, then we'll get to, you know, sealing and all of that, so. Okay, Turners, well, I'm not sure how well you can see I've got, yeah, there you go. I've got a couple cracks in here, as always, that I need to deal with. Um, this one appears to run back up across this way. I'm going to use, again, probably just some coffee grounds and some CA glue. This, um, this is feeling really nice. Um, I've been working on it with my uh, 
uh, skew converted to a negative rake scraper. And um, this is uh, um, smelling really awesome. You know, it's olive, so the whole shop here smells of olive wood, which is just lovely. So anyway, once I uh, once I get this cleaned up, I'll bring it back to the lathe, um, and then uh, you know get that turned off, and we'll start some sanding and whatnot. All right, Turners, that, um, that crack, I widened it a little bit using uh, a little uh, pointed tool, and uh, it accepted the coffee grounds a little more readily that way. So it um, actually makes a nice little accent there. Um, I'm not going to turn this anymore at, at this point. Actually, I think this is uh, at a point where I can sand it now. So I'm going to go ahead and do sanding instead of any further turning on the outside. finished and that's got a nice perfectly smooth finish. I'm um, going to start putting on some sanding sealer and uh, yeah that's ready to go. Okay, Turners, there it is with the sanding sealer on. Okay. And it's um, actually pretty nice so far. It's got a really nice smooth finish on there. Um, I'm going to let that set a minute. And I'm going to move on to the uh, Triple E Ultra Shine and Shell Wax Cream. Alright, Turners, this has got the... Uh, Final finish on it that I'm going to do with the uh, Triple E Ultra Shine and Cello Wax Cream. So um, I've liked this product. It's been good. Um, I know there's other stuff out there that's equally good. Um, I have just never run out of the original stuff that I bought the last time I bought. So I'm still working on that, uh, working that off. Anyway, this is um, this is ready to come off and get reversed. And um, again, I'm going to say a prayer that this. The thin wall here is going to be enough to hold this in place as I hollow this. So let's flip it around and see what we got. Okay, Turners, I've got that reverse mounted. Um, you can see that the screw holes from the faceplate mounting will turn away, of course. The live center I want to use to try to keep as much pressure off the actual um, foot as possible. Uh, it's on the six jaw. Hopefully, it's I've got a snug enough. That it's not going to come off or bust the foot. Um, I'm going to try to hollow as much of this as I can. Um, it kind of becomes an exercise in deep hollowing that I kind of I'm going to be uh, limited to get in here with, with as long as this is in the way. Um, it's running pretty true. Let me show you that. Okay, not too bad. So um, we'll go ahead and start some hollowing. Alright Turners, I think you can see that I've got this hollowed out now. Um, that was successful. I was able to do that with that um, live center pushed up against there until I was just about to the very bottom. I used a combination of tools to do this and uh, one of them is this um, uh, hollowing tool that I created. It's got just a really small round carbide tip on it. Um, so on this olive, which is soft, it um, actually worked very nicely. I also have another tool here that I um, made a while back. If you guys have seen this a time or two, I'll show you the profile on this. It's just straight bar stock, but I've got one of those, um, I'm not sure what you call them, hunter style um, hollowing deals. It's kind of cupped. It's a cupped carbide, but it sits at a 45 degree angle on there, and it lets me be able to do some, actually it's like well, cutting, scraping, I'm not sure. Um, but that helped me uh, also get down deep in there. Um, finally, I cleaned up with just a standard uh, half nose uh, scraper, half round. Uh, I put a negative rake on here, makes it really nice, doesn't catch. And uh, that foot has been holding solid, so 
Uh, now I just need to get in here, do some sanding and uh, some finishing, and we'll be done. All right, turners. Well, here it is, the last turning on that Harbor Freight lathe uh, before the lathe gets donated um, over to Robert and Liz Cruz and the workshop they're setting up um, out in Globe, Arizona. And um, I'm going to put some information about what they're doing in the link below. Go ahead and check them out uh, if you're interested. Anyway, uh, so here's the here's the little bowl. Here's that little crack feature. Okay, it all of beautiful grain on there. Um, here's the little decoration on that foot. You guys can see that okay. And uh, the interior of the bowl also came out really nice. I got some good hollowing on there. I left a little bit of weight in the bottom of the bowl. Uh, it's got a nice, um, uh, it starts out at a, a nice uh, taper on that wall. So it's thin at the top and kind of tapers in at the bottom to give it, uh, oh, it's probably about a half inch thick in the bottom. I left some weight in there. So um, anyway, I think this is a little closer to uh, a rice bowl shape. Looks kind of like a cup. I'll get it right one of these days. Anyway, uh, I think I could eat rice out of here. Um, if you like the video, uh, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and also check out my channel where I have uh, other videos that I've made in the past and a uh, link to a lot of other awesome wood turners and woodworkers out there. Um, also, just a reminder, I don't um, solicit anybody for anything. All this I pay for myself, I'm not funded. Um, I don't monetize the videos. These are really just, you know, for you guys to follow along. So I hope you're finding them entertaining, um, maybe useful. Um, again, be safe turning. And um, we'll see you for the next one.